guys I just got back from Costco and I thought it would be a great idea for me to show you guys what I got from there everything I got is healthy and yeah I'm gonna try to break it down into different groups like carbs protein fruit and vegetables and miscellaneous like the extra stuff um I did spend a lot of money I think about about 200 if I'm not mistaken but I don't do this all the time. I, I try to do this like once a month or something in that sort. So these are carbs. But it's more towards breakfast food. Um, or I guess snack. So I got whole wheat bread. Um, I usually do eat bread a lot. And I'm trying not to because I'm really watching my carbs. Yet I do eat it. But this is mainly for my daughter. She eats a lot of bread. And then we have this pumpkin flax granola, which I love the way granola tastes. And I like the regular one. So I, this is more like from a breakfast food for me, and I'll have it in some almond milk. And then granola, it could be a snack, and I kind of do it with like the way I do this. Just soak it in some milk, and it tastes delicious. And this one is oats, honey, raisins, and almonds. So then here we have regular plain Jane oatmeal. I haven't had this type of oatmeal in a very long time. I usually have steel cut oats. But I want to, you know, switch it up. It's good to switch it up, guys. It, it really is. I see this all over YouTube. A lot of fitness girls use this, eat these pancakes. I think they taste good for being a protein pancake. However, I do think... The buttermilk is not good for me. It breaks me out. But I'm going to hold an experiment this week. So, yeah. And this is going to be a snack. I usually eat these either by myself or with hummus. Okay, so for the proteins, I pretty much kept it, I guess, simple. In my household, we eat, especially myself, so much grilled chicken. So I decided to get two packs, and I think it's a steal for 10 pounds of Purdue chicken. You're getting, it's, it's like $22 each one, and that may be a big purchase off the bat, but trust me, you're going to spend more in the long run. For every day, my daughter and I pretty much eat eggs, so we have the cage-free five dozen of eggs, and then we have cage-free egg whites, liquid egg whites. So that's it for the protein. So okay guys, I want to start off with the frozen berries. I like to make smoothies with them. So yeah, that's that. And I know it's stupid to buy bananas from Costco. However, my family loves bananas. So whenever I get a chance to pick them up, I just do. They don't last here. And this is, um, here we have spring, organic spring mix. And my boyfriend and I love this. What we do is we'll mix this with like romaine lettuce and make a salad so this will last longer because well obviously romaine is less expensive but we like to zhuzh it up a little bit with this because it gives us more nutrients. So then I never had these before but I do eat cucumbers as a snack so this is going to be a snack for my daughter and myself. She likes cucumbers and so do I and I think it's so cute that I could just take a few and we can go. So, I see a lot of YouTubers, healthy YouTubers buy these. Then I got some berries. My daughter is infatuated with berries. Like, these are like regular berries, not frozen. And, yeah, she loves this. And I like blueberries. Like, I can snack on those. So, that's why I purchased these in the big container. And then we have the strawberries, which some of them fell out. But, whatever. We still have a great deal and again I know I have the berry blend which don't include strawberries but um this is a quick snack you know I like to snack throughout the day for the past few days I've been intermittent fasting so sometimes I just want a quick snack a Rooney and I'll throw this in my mouth so then here I have a big big bag of spinach let me put it in eggs and I like to take like three big handfuls and saute it I'm going to make a, a recipe video about that recipe, and I plan on making that this week. So that's why I got a big bag. And also, you take two handfuls, throw it in here, makes your salad 
you know, even more nutritious. Even though I think this incorporates baby spinach, but you can never have too much. And like I said, I eat eggs like almost every morning, so I'll make a nice little omelet. Now, this is for my daughter, um, organic smash, squeezable fruit, and veggie snacks. She loves these, and I love her to eat fruit and vegetables, and even though she's almost two years old, peop I know a few people have their opinion that my daughter still eats like kind of baby food, but... I don't always get to make her fruit and vegetables or I like to saute them in the way with my seasonings but she still may need a fruit or vegetable for um for dinner and this is a quick snack so I like to I honestly still buy my daughter baby food with the fruit and veggies you know it's a little mommy hack and this is lemon I put it in my water I put it in my green tea just wanted to get us a big bag and that's what this is for so yeah, that's my fruit and veggies section. Okay guys, so this is the last section. I'm gonna consider this like the miscellaneous section. I do wanna add two things. One thing, I usually buy cranberries from Costco as well, but I didn't this time because my daughter still has like a whole bag, it comes huge. And coconut water that I put in my smoothies. I purchased that last time I was there. And I didn't want to get it out because it's underneath my it's underneath my cabinet. And the third thing I want to mention is I actually bought this the last time I was there. And I just put this in this hole so you guys can see it. But I, I bought this last time. It's, you can see a few missing. I don't eat it like that. But I do buy them like this instead of the big tub. It's because, I, again, I don't eat it like that. And sometimes... I don't have time to run and get avocado, so I'll eat this guac, and it's organic, all natural, and it tastes pretty good. And you can throw this on some eggs. Now, it does not taste exactly like avocado, but it's guacamole, not avocado. So you have the guac. Then this is the sugar in the roar. I really don't use it like that, but I like it here in case we have company, somebody needs a, a coffee or something I make. And sometimes when I make my oatmeal, I like to add a little zhuzh to it, and I'll put this in it. Now this is my roasted garlic hummus. Guys, this cost about 5 to $6. I can't remember exactly how much, but it was definitely that range. And I know I usually pay $5 for like the small ones you get at the regular supermarket. And roasted garlic is my favorite. However, my daughter... Well, she likes garlic now. Maybe she'll like it again, but she usually likes the red pepper, which I felt bad they didn't have. But this was more kind of for me. I know, selfish mommy, right? This will go with the pretzels. Let me show you. Number, this is supposed to go with this. And she could eat these. These are organic. I'm okay with that. And actually, I use this as a sandwich spread. So I'll make like, um, like grilled chicken and I'll use this instead of mayo. So that's that. Now, these are the seasonings that I purchased. I don't know how to use this, so if anybody knows, let me know. I have to Google. But I just know, I hit turmeric everywhere in the healthy areas. So I would like to start using this in my cooking or with my apple cider vinegar. I don't know. So yeah, that's that. Then these two are for my chicken. Taco seasoning. And sweet ginger garlic. I love garlic, by the way. And this... It's just to add a different spice to my chicken life, essentially. I usually, like, will use, like, Montreal chicken, which I got from Costco's, too. But, it's not new. But, yeah, that's a good um, idea for Costco's. And I usually use, like, some Miss Dash seasonings. Maybe I'll show you guys, like, the seasonings I use to, like, make... Like, my chicken tastes different because, as you can see, I eat a lot of chicken. I just can't wait for my body to show that. Anyway, guys, so, yeah, that's pretty much it for my haul. Guys, I was just about to sum up this video, and then my daughter started asking for one of the bananas I just purchased. Look how thick this is. It's huge. But we're not complaining. I just wanted to add that since I saw it right now. But anyway, guys, this 
is it. That's everything that I purchased from Costco today. I just want to point out that everything together costs about $200. And I know that's a lot. And, and I don't do this all the time. I Because this usually lasts me a while. And I, haven't, and I haven't been to Costco in about a year. I mean, in two months. So, I was a little behind on things. But anyway, I got everything I need. And it should last me a little bit. I hope that helped you guys out. I know a lot of you guys want to get healthy. Or try to get a little healthy in your life. And maybe these give you some ideas. So, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up to let me know you want to see more videos like this. So thank you guys for watching and I appreciate you all. I'll see you next time. Bye! I know this can seem like a lot. If you want this whole haul and shopping list form, please go to the link in my description box. I have it on my blog and the link will take you straight there. I hope you enjoy. Mm -hmm.